What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how you can automate iOS code signing with CICD using Code Magic. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, code signing is a process where you sign your built application to verify the developer and their identity. Code Magic docs linked down below, a great platform for CICD to automate all your needs. That all said, drop a like and let's jump right into it. So if you've been sticking around with the Code Magic videos, I've got a basically dummy app, iOS Academy client here, where on the Code Magic dashboard, you can go and create a free account. And I'm gonna hit the settings gear here and you'll notice it is a completely uh, newly added application, no previous setup at all. And we're gonna set it up from scratch. Now I've got two other tabs opened up here at the top in my browser. The first one is a bit of documentation. I'm gonna link this down below. We're gonna be using it to make some uh, copy and paste references. The second one is my App Store Connect Apple Developer Portal, specifically under Users and Keys, and I'm on the Keys tab since we're gonna to need to create a key. So let's get into it. So over here on this desktop, I've got my project already uh, downloaded from GitHub where I keep it. We're gonna open up Terminal and we're gonna CD into this project. Now in here, we have a basic Xcode project. There's literally no functionality. It's fairly small and nimble, but we also have a codemagic.yaml file. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up in Atom. Feel free to use the editor of choice that you'd like, and it is completely empty. I'm gonna go ahead and paste a bunch of stuff in here that I've pre-typed out, and we're gonna talk through it since there's a, quite a few things going on in here. Now it's pretty straightforward, but let's go through it line by line. So this YAML file helps us outline and tell Code Magic how to run whatever job we wanna run, and that's known as a workflow. So we have a workflow, we can call it my workflow, call it whatever you want. It has a name, which in our case, we're dealing with iOS code signing. So maybe we'll call this code signing workflow. Now we have this thing called environments and we say that use the environment group admin. Now what this is referring to is here in the dashboard, if you take a look at the top here, there's something called environment variables. We're gonna need to add four environment variables to help Code Magic fetch all these certificates and information it needs on our behalf to go and code sign. Now you can see I've got these four added from my previous go at this, so we're actually going to delete all four of these since that since they're invalid now. And we also wanna add them together to make sure we understand the whole process. So I'm just gonna get rid of all four of these and we're gonna add them manually ourselves. So going back to the YAML file, the next thing which is most important is scripts. So scripts linearly run and execute actual commands and tell Code Magic to do stuff. So the first thing we have in here under scripts is a script that sets up our keychain. Keychain is a construct where you can hold private keys and important credentials on a machine for various purposes. Every Mac computer has one, as does Code Magic's virtual machine that it spins up, which in fact is also a Mac. The next thing that we do is we fetch the signing files. Now what this is doing is this is reaching out to Apple and it's saying for this bundle ID, and this is my project, my Xcode projects bundle ID, go ahead and fetch the files for iOS app store code signing. And it's saying if we don't have it for whatever reason, go ahead and create it, hence the dash dash create flag. The next thing it's doing here is it's that it's setting up the signing certificate. So what this is doing is more or less it's adding to the keychain the certificates that we need to perform code signature. The next step here is actually setting up the settings for code signing in Xcode. So it's telling Xcode project command use the profiles that we'll need to sign. And finally, signing is a step of building. We're going to say Xcode project, go ahead and build the IPA, which is the iPhone application that's created when you compile. And we're saying this is the you know workspace and scheme. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna build at the end of that build process, it's gonna try to sign your application. And it's gonna use all the scripts and the, the certificates that we've previously you know, set up here to do that signature. And then finally, this artifacts thing down here is where all your output files will go. So now that we've got this added, what I wanna go ahead and do now is back in terminal, we're gonna stage this file and we're gonna commit and push it. This is how we're gonna actually get it up into Code Magic. So we're gonna say uh, support, CI code signing. We're gonna go ahead and say git push. 
And we should see this successfully come back if I head on over to Code Magic and I refresh my page on this first tab, you'll see that YAML file will appear here now as expected. Now keep in mind there's one more really important thing to do and that is setting up our environment variables. So we're going to set these up here. I've got a tab opened up and you noticed it in the beginning of the video to this section which says saving the API key to environment variables. So we need to bring in four pieces of information to Code Magic to get this whole bit working. We're going to go to Abstract Connect and we're going to create a key. A key helps uh, Code Magic access our account information to whatever scope we provide with a secure identifier. So we're going to give this a thing called code signing uh, key. So that'll be our name for the key. We're going to go ahead and select an access level. You can go ahead and make it kind of restrictive to app manager or developer perhaps. I'm going to do admin so we don't run into any gotchas. We'll go ahead and create it and boom, just like that, you'll see your code pop up here uh, with your key ID. So we're going to copy this key ID and I'm going to go back to code magic. We're going to paste this on in into the uh, value. This select group, we're going to select to admin. Now I went ahead and created admin uh, earlier today. By default, you don't have any groups. Groups just help you associate various variables uh, to one another. Now what is the key going to be for this particular value? Uh, it is going to be app store connect uh, API or App Store Connect key identifier rather. So go ahead and copy that. Come back here and paste this into variable name. Let's try that one more time. Variable name. Go ahead and hit add. And we need to perform this three more times with three other credentials. We'll go back to App Store Connect. And the next thing we want to copy is this issuer ID at the top here. We'll come back here and we'll paste it in the variable value. Going back to the documentation, the next one you'll see is App Store Connect issuer ID. Go ahead and copy that, paste it into the variable name, make sure you select admin as the group, go ahead and hit add, and next up we need one more. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually download the key, private key that's associated with this. Sounds a little confusing because there's three keys in there. So we generated a key and we're going to hit this button to download API key. It's going to give you a warning saying you can only download it once. So don't uh, lose it. So we're going to download it and drag it to our desktop on the top right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and open this up in an editor. I like to use Atom, use whatever you like. And we're going to see this information in here. We need to copy this and give this to Code Magic as well. Now this is a secure private key, so please don't share yours with anybody. I'm going to be revoking mine after the video. We'll go here and paste it on in. And back in the documentation, the respective value name, the variable name will be Abstra Connect private key. Go ahead and copy that, paste it here, select admin and hit add. And the very last step we need to do is if we come back to the documentation, you can read this blurb. It's basically saying you need to generate a another key via a terminal command. So we can copy this command that it gives us down here. We're going to go back here. We can close up Adam now and back on our desktop. We're going to run this command and you're going to see two files appear on the right hand side here. Now, one of them is a public certificate and the other is the private key. The one that ends in .pub is the one we can ignore, but the other one we're going to right click, open in, open it in a text editor once again. We're going to use Atom. This key will be much longer. Once it opens up, go ahead and copy it. Go back to Code Magic, paste it in the variable value. And back here in your documentation, remember you want to copy the variable name, which is a certificate private key. Go ahead and copy that, paste it in your variable name, hit admin as the group, and hit add, and we should be good to go. The last thing that's left to do is just verify that our script looks correct and run this pipeline. So we'll go ahead and refresh the page, make sure all of our variables are still here. We're going to jump into this first tab and we're going to take a quick skim of this. So we've set up our environment as admin, which has all of our variables. We have scripts to fetch the key signing information, initialize keychain, uh, use the certificate, add it to keychain, and then also compile the app and put our artifacts in these folders. To give this a run, we're going to hit the start new build at the top right. We only have one workflow, so it has automatically selected it in the drop down here, code signing workflow. Go ahead and hit the big blue button and let's be patient and watch the pipeline do its thing. 
Now on the right hand side, you're going to see all the steps from our scripts. You'll also see a little box up here that says explore a build machine via SSH or VNC clients. What this is really cool and what it lets you do uh, is you can basically copy the command here to establish an SSH connection directly to the machine. So if you're not familiar with what that is, you can basically CD into that machine more or less to see if something goes wrong. You can view the logs and I'm going to actually show you guys because I think it's pretty useful in case something ever goes wrong. If we go ahead and open in terminal and paste in that command, hit enter, and you're going to see that you see the cool code magic uh, logo here. I thought this was pretty nice. And you're finally CD'd, uh, connected rather, I should say, to that machine. You can see the prefix here is builder at builders Mac. Uh, and then S87 or 587. One thing that's really important to keep in mind, if you remained SSH'd into the machine, this pipeline will never run and will run for an infinite amount of time. So once you're done browsing around in here or doing whatever you'd like to do, make sure you run the logout command and that will disconnect you from the code magic machine, allowing it to finish up. So this is a fairly small project. So all of the steps prior to build were very, very quick. Even build itself should be reasonably quick. I believe it takes like a minute or two tops. And then once uh, it's successfully built, it'll just uh, clean up the machine. And we should see this circle at the top left with the spinner turn into a green success indicator. And that's more or less how you can run code signing on your uh, CI CD pipeline workflows. Now, there's one big question that I haven't answered. Why would you even want to run code signing? Code signing allows you to set up your binary for distribution if you want to upload to the App Store. It also helps you verify the authenticity of an application. So let's say every single time you open up a pull request in your repo, whether it's on GitHub or Bitbucket or what have you, you can trigger Code Magic to go ahead and compile your app, make sure there's nothing breaking, as well as run code signing. Running that code signing will also verify that your App Store credentials are in good shape in case something goes and expires in maybe you know a week or two. You don't want your certificates expiring so you can verify everything. And as I was going on my spiel, it looks like this has successfully finished here. We see a green indicator at the top left. The other thing on the left here, you can see some information like the machine was a Mac mini. It gives you the branch that we were running off of. This is the source control branch. It also gives you total time. Uh, started two minutes ago, took two minutes and 15 seconds, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It also gives you the commits that uh, if you click on this, it gives you the commit that was actually run. So if we click on this, it opens up GitHub. And here is the commit we actually made to the repo with this YAML file updates. So that's code magic in a nutshell. If you enjoyed the video and haven't done so already, drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you use CICD. Maybe you use it for personal projects. Maybe you use it professionally at your day job. I'd love to know. Subscribe if you're into iOS, Swift, Swift UI, anything tech to stick around and get updates for future videos. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you on the next one.